مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية Good morning students and welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson deals with a very important topic. We are going to deal with a letter of application. How we can write a letter of application efficiently and adequately. Now let's start our lesson for today. First of all, we need to know how we can start and finish or sign our letter. In this case, we have got two options. Maybe you know the receiver's name or you don't know him or her. So if you don't know the receiver's name you start the letter like this, dear sir slash madam. You don't know whether they are a man or a woman. And when you finish, you close your letter like this, yours faithfully. Dear sir or madam, at the beginning, before the signature, yours faithfully. Or you know the receiver's name. So in this case, we are going to start it like this. Dear Mr. or Mrs. When you know the receiver's name, you know his first name, his family name. As a matter of respectability, you should address the person using his family name, not his first name. For example, if the receiver's name is Mr. John Watkins, you say, Dear Mr. Watkins. You cannot say, Dear Mr. John. This is irrelevant. This is not polite enough. Now, to finish the letter, you say, Yours sincerely. Then you write your name. So, now it is clear how we can begin, how we can finish our letter. Let's move on to the following step. Now we start the content of the letter and how we can write the different paragraphs in the correct sequence and in the logical order. First, we start with the purpose of the letter. Of course, the purpose of the letter is to apply for a job, or maybe you are going to apply for a course. So this is a suggested form. You say, dear sir or madam, as we have said um, in the introduction. Now, we can write this form. I am writing to apply for the job of, then you write the name of the job, as advertised in the local newspaper, or maybe there is the name of the newspaper, you have to write it. For example, we can say, I am writing to apply for the job of a civil engineer as advertised in the independent, independent, this is the name of a British newspaper. So this is a very short and precise paragraph to introduce the purpose of your letter. Now we move on to the following paragraph. With paragraph two, you are going to talk about the applicants. This is, in this case, this is yourself. The applicants' qualifications and experiences. Again, this is a suggested form. As you can see from my enclosed CV, so it is 
suppose that the writer or the applicant sends or encloses his CV. As you can see from my enclosed CV, I graduated from Qatar University in 2010 with a degree in, you write the field of study. For example, if we said in the introduction, um, civil engineer, here we say with a degree in engineering. Since then, I have worked as a, of course, as a civil engineer for several companies. So why are you going to change your job? Now, I am keen on, by the way, keen on is followed by a gerund, verb plus ing. I am keen on getting a new job with a better salary and a new challenge. So we have finished with the first paragraph in which we state the purpose of the letter and the second paragraph in which the applicant speaks in detail about his qualifications and experiences. Now let's move on. In paragraph three, we have got a separate goal. We are going to talk about the applicant's personal qualities and skills. So remember what you're going to write about and be focused on the purpose of the paragraph. This is a suggested form. I would describe myself as a hardworking person who enjoys working in a team. Furthermore, remember, it's better to use formal linking words. Furthermore, I am very good at working under pressure. I am also able to, sometimes you would say, why are you saying I am also? Because we are speaking or we are writing formal English. So we can use no contractions. You cannot write or say I am. No, you say I am also able to organize work and lead people efficiently. Moreover, I have got a lot of creative ideas that would add a lot to the company's success. In addition, again, formal linking words. I have got good communication skills and I can speak English and French fluently. So as you see from this paragraph, I have given the receiver a detailed description of myself, of my qualities, of my skills, to encourage them to consider uh, my application and to think of me positively. Now, let's move on to the following paragraph. In paragraph four, we are going to deal with a separate purpose. We are going to deal with a separate goal. Now, the writer is talking about his references, um, his enclosures, and contact details. You are going to refer to your CV, uh, your reference letters, letters you got from previous employers, how they talk about your experience, how they talk about your character, how they talk about um, your performance, and then you give your contact details, whether it is by phone or by email. Now look at this suggested form. Please find enclosed my CV and two reference letters from my previous employers. I hope you would consider me for the job. I am available for an interview at any time. I can be contacted by phone on or by email at. Then you finish your letter. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yours faithfully. Of course, because uh, we suppose that you do not know the receiver's name. So we suppose that you started the letter saying, dear sir or madam. So we finish yours faithfully 
Hassan. Now, after these four paragraphs, you have written a good letter of application. Now, let's move to an exercise with a whole suggested letter or a model letter. Now, this is a sample question form which may be similar or exactly similar to the form used in the exam paper. Write a letter of application to Mr. Sam Jenkins, owner of World of Fashion. Of course, World of Fashion, uh, between quotation marks or speech marks, this refers to uh, the name of the company. What's the purpose of the letter? Applying for the job of a sales assistant as advertised in the local newspaper. So here, the question does not mention the name of a specific newspaper. Your name is H. Rashid. So this is your name, which you should use to sign your name at the end of the letter. You should not use your actual name in, on the exam paper. Helping notes, how you knew about the job. Of course, this is a reference to the newspaper. Qualifications and relevant experience. Uh, personal qualities and skills. Contact details. These notes, of course, refer to the components of the paragraphs which we have just talked about and discussed examples of. Use the appropriate formal style to write your letter. So this means that we are going to write a formal letter. Okay, now let's move to our example. Now let's have a look at the sample answer. This is a sample letter. Dear Mr. Jenkins, I am writing to apply for the job of a sales assistant as advertised in the local newspaper. This is the first paragraph and the purpose of the letter. Second paragraph, this is the applicant's um, qualifications and experience. As you can see from my enclosed CV, I graduated from Oxford University in 2015 with a degree in marketing. Since then, I have worked as a part-time sales assistant for several stores. Now I am keen on getting a full-time job to get a better salary and further develop my skills. Now we move on to paragraph 3. This is a description of the applicant's character, skills, and personal qualities. I would describe myself as a hard-working person who enjoys working in a team. Furthermore, I am very good at working under pressure. I am also able to handle work efficiently. Moreover, I have got a lot of creative ideas that would add a lot to the company's success. In addition, I have got good communication skills and I can speak several languages fluently. Now we move on to the following paragraph. This is um, referring to the enclosures and contact details. I would be grateful if you could look at my enclosed CV and to reference letters from my previous employers. I hope you would consider me for the job I am available for an interview at any time. I can be contacted by phone on. Please don't write your actual phone number or your actual email. Or by email, I look forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, because of course we know uh, the receiver's name. Yours sincerely, Hassan. Thank you very much for your hard work. I hope today's lesson was beneficial and would help you work hard for your exams. Thank you very much.